What is up guys, Tony Banks here, back at it again with another video. We have some news for the upcoming MW3. We have COD Next coming up either this weekend or in a couple of days, something like that. The beta right around the corner. A lot of stuff is coming out, plus there is stuff that I haven't seen so far with the game, kind of like everything that's been released like within like the past like couple of weeks so i want to go through everything real quick with all the stuff that just recently came out uh today yesterday for you guys uh so let's look at it and see what we have in store for us when it comes to modern fair 3. all right so we are here on uh on x over here on charlie intel where i get most of my call of duty news and updates and stuff like that so jump into it rust will be shown at call of duty next so this is the look at the new rust that we have and it looks a little futuristic okay looking like uh not advanced warfare but uh, what was the other one? Infinite Warfare. It's like a an Infinite Warfare Rust. Okay, so at least we know that Rust is returning. So Cotton X and the beta is like at the same time. So the fifth is Cotton X, and then the sixth and the seventh uh, is the start of the, the the beta for PlayStation players. Look here, two seconds of Modern Warfare Zombies gameplay. Now I didn't even know that we were getting zombies in this new modern warfare but it looks like we are it looks pretty pretty cool uh I, I usually never play zombies but you know i'll try it out just to see what happens looks like we have monkey bombs returning also coming from modern warfare or coming into modern warfare zombies Alrighty, so at COD next we'll get a uh, a full reveal of um, the new Warzone map, a uh, new map premiere, live gameplay, and game features. Uh, deep dive with Raven. Definitely be interested uh, to look at that and see what comes from it, so we can really see what we we are getting for our new Warzone experience. I haven't played Warzone too often, and I kind of want to get into it. So let's see. Call of Duty next is some of the stuff that we're going to see. Multiplayer, pretty much the same thing. Live gameplay, map showcase, game features uh deep dive with sledgehammer games uh when it comes to zombies uh gameplay trailer premiere game features deep dive with treyarch uh let's see warzone new map premiere live gameplay like i said you know same thing as last time uh ooh, warzone mobile new features game uh game details and the live gameplay so it looks like uh it is going to be like all of the studios kind of coming together to help with this one so that'll be cool at least we'll get like aspects of everybody you know Alrighty, a reminder of what's already been revealed so uh, none of the stuff that i know i don't know any of this stuff so far so uh, we're gonna go through right here uh 16 modern warfare 2 um 2009 maps that one i knew I, that one i knew i'm not gonna lie uh four ground warm uh ground war maps war mode map voting so happy about that classic mini map happy about that 150 health um, I, i'm excited to see how that will that will work out we have slide canceling and reload canceling thank you so much better mantling which i saw a snippet of that i'm not gonna lie headshot multiplier and then gear slash perk system with ninja so excited that ninja is returning for us new mw3 intel drop after market parts let's watch this real quick for call of duty modern warfare 3 we've added a new way to customize your weapons after market parts Aftermarket parts are a new option within Gunsmith, a way for players to come back to a weapon that they may have already mastered or played out, and it's going to give them an entirely new dimension to interact with the gun in a way that regular attachments can't. Think of them as remixes for the guns. Really, the easiest way to say it is they're nearly a new gun. They are powerful, meaningful changes to these weapons. Caliber, the way that they fire, both rate of fire as well as potentially the fire type. We're going to have one of our heaviest light machine guns in the game have a conversion kit that turns it into a bullpup, which greatly shortens the configuration of the gun and makes it so that you can really run and gun with it. You can spray from the hip, you can sprint out way faster than you could fun. with this much longer, heavier version of the weapon. Aftermarket parts really aspire to just be fun. We want some of them to be just absolute oddballs that players are completely caught off guard by and want to get in there for just the sheer spectacle of it. It's going to expand playstyles dramatically. We've put a lot into aftermarket parts and we are so excited for the community to get their hands on them. Mm, so a new aspect of the game i am excited to see that feature just seeing that a pistol can be turned into a totally you know different gun and then you know your your lmg can be a much faster lmg it is awesome super excited for that and even the 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 sound of the guns oh we have some stuff from modern Fred 3 this is basically everything i believe that was in the video Alrighty, so this was nine hours from you know recording this you know all this stuff whatever as you guys can see nine hours uh call of duty modern fred 3 multiplayer reveal trailer i am excited let's get into it two minutes let's soak up these two minutes high rise 
guys. Okay. The other one was terminal. the name of this one too. This one was a great match for free for all. That's a little Karambit. Ooh, diamond camo. Yo, this actually looks so fire with the actual gameplay. Okay. Okay, okay. A little bit of ground war action. Or maybe war zone, who knows? Yo, bro, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, that is going to be so awesome. Even just that that two minute snippet has got me very, very hyped, guys. You, you, you guys know how much I love Call of Duty, so I get you know excited for pretty much anything Call of Duty related. Um, Hopefully it's going to be a good game because this is, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. So uh, breaking Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, uh, open beta trailer, uh, maps in beta, favela, skid row, estate, rust, and high rise. Woo, let's look at it real quick. Skid row, that was the map, okay. Bro, did I see the UMP? I don't know if I'm tripping, but I might have saw a UMP in there. I don't know. Well, I know it's gonna return regardless because they're they're bringing back all those guns. But I'm I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, a look at one of the new Modern Warfare 3 vault weapons. Oh, so this is a vault weapon. Oh, I thought the that was just the uh, like the the diamond camel for it, but I guess not. Terminal looks so good in that it does. So excited for it. Uh, a look at the MW3 uh, multiplayer HUD, red dots on mini map, yellow plus XP. Yes, so happy that the traditional mini map is back, you know, with us getting the regular maps or the Modern Warfare 2, you know, 16 iconic maps. It is only right for them to bring back the classic map for us. So super excited, super excited. Let's see what else that we have. Uh, we already know about that one. Uh, this is the same thing for weekend two. We get the same maps, uh, new skins. Skins look dope as well. Uh, the new Warzone map, we got a little bit of sneak peeks from that. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, high rise jump spots are back. Ooh, so we can get, we can still get a little cheeky like we did back in the day. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. Alrighty guys, so that is going to be the end of today's video. I am so excited. Now, I don't think I am going to be able to get my hands on a PS5 and get on the beta for this first weekend. But however, I am going to be playing that second weekend and I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun, cannot wait. And, and then November 10th, when the game officially comes out, it's gonna be so fun. If you guys did enjoy today's video and wanna see more videos, I have so many ideas, so many videos prepared for you guys. Get ready for it on the lead up to Modern Warfare 3. And and especially when Modern Warfare 3 does come out. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are not new. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.